Yo, welcome back to my playthrough of Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, last episode was a big one. Uh, spoiler warning, just in case you hadn't seen last episode, this is your warning. Um, I'm going to go into a quick recap of what happened. A lot happened. Spoiler warning, that's your final one. Uh, so, we went back to Jeddah so we can give Master Cordova the compass so he can repair it and we can make our way to Tantalor and relocate... Uh, the underground and every and and, and everyone uh, the Tantalor safe place away from the Empire. Everything was going great. Everything was fantastic. Everyone's happy. I knew things were wrong. Um, you know, Cal and Marin finally got together. Uh, every, everyone's happy. Everything's great. But of course, I knew the shoe was going to drop somewhere. Bode was acting weird. And of course, as soon as Master Cordova fixed the compass, Bode betrays us, kills Cordova, and ran. Cal pursued him, and uh, turns out Bode's a fallen Jedi. Yeah, he's also a Jedi survivor. Uh, his lightsaber was red, so obviously he's, you know, he bled his light, he bled his lightsaber color, or maybe he was a former Inquisitor. Not exactly sure. That he needs some confirmation on that. Um, seemed like Cal was dead after uh, Bode defeated him. Uh, we then played as Seer for a bit, defending. Uh, the Amorites and trying to get everyone evacuated. Uh, Vader showed up along along with a bunch of empire. You know, the Empire was attacking, uh, which I don't think Bode is working for the Empire. He wasn't going to give the he didn't say he was going to give the compass to the Empire. Um, maybe he, he has a daughter, so maybe the Empire is holding his daughter captive, um, and he is, you know, trying to exchange his daughter for giving up us. I'm not exactly sure. Need some confirmation on that. But it seems like he wants to use the compass for himself and for his daughter to make it the Tantalor. But yeah, a lot a lot happened. Uh Seer fought Vader. Almost won. But Seer was also killed, so we lost both Seer and Master Cordova. Um and Bode flew off with the compass, and we're now gonna go hunt him down. Um, however though, before we go hunt down Bode. If we can, I would like to hunt down the remaining bounty hunters and complete some side stuff. Um, yeah, just because that was really, really, really heavy last episode. So kind of want to do some fun side stuff. Um, and then we'll continue on the main quest, which is uh, we unlocked a new destination to go to the hunt down Bode. So anyways. Let's continue on guys i hope you enjoy the video if you do please make sure you leave it a like let me know in the comments and if you haven't yet please make sure you are subscribed to the channel i've said a whole lot I'm trying to get the 500 subscribers maybe eventually a thousand um thank you guys again for tuning in let's get right into it okay all right I do want to go over here because they're New chest. Sears lightsaber. Let's go to the workbench real quick. Looks like it's kind of timed.
I messed up. Okay. Okay, there we go.
Get some. Okay. Gotta unlock this. Seem there is a deeper purpose to these musings after all. Perhaps these trials are intended to reveal a hidden pattern beneath the sands of this barren desert. That's all of them. They are pointing towards a temple in the desert center. Oh, nice new perk slot. Hey, this is a good find. Very nice. <laughs> cool. A map. 
What greater knowledge can one bestow than to help those that follow find their way? My journey is nearly at its end. When I look back, I see suffering and sadness, yes, but also joy and friendship. And so I return to my apprentice side with no regrets. Man. I miss Cordova and Seer. Oh, sweet Cordova's lightsaber. Oh, nice. Even better. All right, time to go uh, hunt down that last bounty hunt. That, well, I don't know if it's the last one, but there's a bounty hunter on Jetta. Wider than usual. See ya. Right. The Haxian brood's taken over the region. Wonder what's waiting for us in the temple. Should be fun. Jeez. Life 
What'd you find? Still no sign of this Kilioso. Could be a trap. It's probably a trap. Probably Z trap. Let's see here. I have some more perk slots. We'll do that one. This one means business.
buddies. Flattered. Let's get back to Cage. Yeah, that was uh, mm, that was intense. Yeah, buddy. Missed this before. Toss me a stem, buddy. All right, now I need to find the best way out of here. Here we go. Now you guys want to go after Bode, but we need to go to Kobo first. We got bounty hunters on us. We need to take care of this. BD chilling, looking cute. Feel bad for Grease, man. He was good friends with Seer. Bad stuff keeps happening, and he just wanted to retire. Right, and we're here. Get in your chair. He came back to fly the mantis for us and stuff. I will say this: I do really like the. Uh, I, I do. Wow, that's loud. I do really like uh, Iloon Saloon. I like kind of having a hub area and like being able to recruit different uh, people for Pylon Saloon. I think that's really cool. Gives it a uh, really uh, like it, it really uh, helps flush out with that Star Wars feel. The Star Wars Star Wars has always been a mixture of sci-fi fantasy, more on the fantasy side of things. Um, there's just so many worlds and, you know, worlds in this universe. Uh, so many different kinds of characters. Um, I really like all the unique different stories, different species. So it's really awesome to kind of have like a hub where you kind of get a little bit of all the different flavors of everybody. Welcome, welcome. Make yourself at home. I saw your things in the back room. You'll have to forgive the more tasteless ornaments. Some of it used to belong to Dreo, my old partner ghastly sense of style another outlaw not when i met him he was running a perfectly legitimate port in rhodia allowed me to use his docks for my shipments no questions asked supposedly hmm. but we got to talking anyways sounds like a nice guy he was the genuine article all right probably why things didn't work out between us hey moran hello cal are you all right that obvious huh to your credit, you hide it well. But in my line of work, failing to discern a business partner's mental state could sour the whole deal. Not that we're business partners, of course. You don't have the credentials to... Sorry, never mind. What I'm trying to say is that I'm here to talk. If you need me. Thanks. I appreciate it. Of course. You know what? I didn't really like Moran at first, and I thought he was like going to be like an Imperial spy or something, but... He's actually grown on me. I uh, meant that I'm here to talk in a 
more of a general sense. Never change, Moran. Like, going into Pylon Saloon and talking to everybody reminds me of going, like, after each mission in Mass Effect, going back to the Normandy, talking to everybody, getting everybody's perspective on what just happened, and, like, get more of their backstory and stuff. I really like that. Which I will eventually, which I will eventually here on the channel do a playthrough of Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. Um, I've played that game so many times, I can't count how many times I've played through um, Mass Effect over the past, like, 10-15 years. All of them. Um, but I do want to do one here on the channel. I haven't yet, and I, I would really like to. DD, throw me that sample again. We have reached a crossroads. Night falls. But will the sun again rise? It usually does. Yes, yes. Laughter is light. We must spread it. Especially during such dark times. Not a lot of laughter in my life these days, too locked. Oh, do not despair, Sojourner. The galaxy still turns, and dawn will break through your night. No, it's nice. Now is not the time to speak. Oh, okay. No dialogue there. See you when I see you. How you doing? Hi, Cal. Where's your buddy at? Bode's gone. Yep. Sorry. I know you two were close. He's not dead. He betrayed us to the Empire. Huh. Sounds like you're on the hunt then. Mm -hmm. That's right. Do what you gotta do. Just remember that vengeance breeds vengeance. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, Mosey. Talk soon. Turgle? Cow! Hey, Turgle. Not the usual cheery greeting I've grown accustomed to, but I won't pry into your personal life. Unlike that gossip hound, Har. Thanks. You ever want to talk, Cal? I'm here for you. Thank you, Turgle. Yeah, Grease is not in his chair. Nope. You're practically drooling over this. Fork over the pot. Strath buddy of yours, cause I've been thinking he might be interested in making a quick credit or two and- Boat's gone. Well, I can wait. He's not coming back. Okay. Okay, I can take a hint. Got plenty of jobs for ya. Don't forget the pack of Hexian hounds at your heels. Get along. Hey, yeah, the tank. This is yeah, the time for looks good. There's still leagues of bubbles left for more fishes. Let the hunt continue. I do want to find all the fish for Scuva and for the aquarium, but I don't think I'll be able to find them all. I got bad news, Cal. Got plenty of my own, Har. It'll have to wait. All right, don't let me keep you. Good luck with whatever it is. Thanks, Har. You're back. I confess that I did not expect to see you so soon. Plans changed. Did they? Something's happened, hasn't it? I can hear it in your voice. Oh, Cal. Whatever it is, I am deeply sorry. 
You tell me when you're ready, and not a moment sooner. I appreciate it, Z. Of course. Take care of yourself. If there's anything I can do, just say the word. Does any of this interest you? seem to appreciate this. So, how are you adjusting to your new life? Well, always considered this canteen and its fence and Hey there. Good to see you made it back. How's Pyloons treating you? It's adorably derelict <laughs> and entirely <laughs> unique. If this cantina were on Coruscant, you could quadruple the prices and still have lines out the door. Any luck with the data pad? Ask Dorma. She's working on it. Thanks again for your help, Cal. Don't mention it. Okay, I don't want to play any of the... I don't want to play any games there. Let's go up here. Check in the garden. So with all the different planets and stuff that the Empire like goes to Garden's to like nice and lush these days, huh, BD? I see you found a new seeds. Plant one and I'll tell okay. you all about it. Uh so like so Star Wars gives me somewhat odd world vibes. Or maybe I should say Odd World gives me Star Wars vibes. Um Obviously Star Wars came before Odd World, but like Odd World you know, there's, you know, all these unique different creatures and inhabitants of the world of Oddworld, but they're all being, like, subjugated and used and abused. Um, and, you know, it has a big environmental message um, attached to it, you know, because they're, they're, the main threat are all these big corporations or governments, like, taking over land, abusing the people, um, and, you know, it has that same kind of Star Wars and Oddworld have kind of the same kind of vibe when it comes to like in Star Wars, for example, like all the big, all the, you know, you have the big empire um, abusing all the different planets throughout the galaxy, harvesting the resources, enslaving the people uh, for its own gain. Um, it, it kind of has that same vibe. You know, doing what they, everyone doing what they can, the rebellion, the stand up against that. Hey, fellas, how long you been together? Too, Too long. long. We were one of the first people here and both tried scouting for Priorite. Had zero idea what we were doing. Couldn't find anything. Then I remembered I hate the outdoors. And I got a sunburn on my gastrodermis. Not fun. Ooh, that does not and sound I fun. I of the most pathetic, bumbling prospector ever to walk the planet. Rumsey Forlo. Me too. Of course, we both started making fun of clumsy Rumsey. I laughed at Gulu Zingers. And I at Guido's. And we've been stuck together ever since. Because we shared something special. Rumsey was a loser. Still puts a smile on my face. <laughs> okay. Something you need? Huh? Eh? I'm sure Z can decrypt this for us. Okay, I think I, I think I finally figured out what we need to do with this. Okay. 
not expect it to explode like that. Fine. Let's take this back to Z. Well, it is. You killed some Jedi relic from the past. The one leading the Raiders. What was a bounty? No bounty. No bounty? You risked your life for free? Uh, I don't know. Not every reward is in credits. Besides, pretty sure I get free room and board here at Pylunes. True. Is that what your life is worth, Cal? Didn't take you for a gambler. Hey, Hunter. The Hexian's bloodhound, Vaslin Martz, has been sniffing around for you on the mountain. This guy's moving in with his stealth squad, so make sure not to get blindsided. Copy that. Watch my back, Beanie. Huh. Kind of starting to like that little droid. Kind of. Beanie is the best. Also, I just realized there's a Clone Wars helmet. Uh, a clone, co a clone helmet. Right there. Alright, we'll head there. I'm going to fast travel. and his flyboys were spotted buzzing above the Kobo Observatory. Oh, okay. They're going to rain all sorts of blasts of fire and grenades on your parade, so keep your wits about you. We'll take him down. Now you start to sound like a real pro, Cal. This is the most fun I've had since landing on this rock. All right, off to the Kobo Observatory then. Get this to cage. All right, cool. Another one down. You're on a roll, Cal. 
got another tip for you. What you okay. got? A bounty droid named Mesh has been babbling on the brood comms about that lab on the shattered moon. Go shut them up, will ya? They're a disgrace to the profession, if you ask me. We'll see about them. Sooner or later. Atta boy. All right, here we go. Nice. Welcome, welcome. Make yourself at home. What's your academy like? Oh, amazing. Every building is partially suspended with repulsors. The campus looks like it's floating over the ground. It's magical. It sounds like a hard place to leave behind. It was, but things were changing. Looking down, you used to see nothing but nature. The ground is covered in ferrocrete now. All part of an Imperial control zone. We'll talk soon. So you've been out of the game completely since the Empire cracked down? More or less. Not that I didn't go down swinging. When the company went belly up, I insisted I could turn things around. But Dreo, my partner, he wanted to leave together. So what happened? Well, he left, all right. But in my infinite wisdom, I decided to stick it out. Try to turn the cards in my favor. I got greedy. I can't tell you how badly I wish I'd gone with him. Instead, mm. I chose what you might call the scenic route to rock bottom. And that brings us to this rue riddled cantina years later. At least he got out eventually. Will you take some advice, Cal? Sure. It's not just about getting out. It's about getting out before you lose everything. Another time. Grease has been down in the basement ever since she came back. Is he all right? Not sure. We lost some people close to us. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe you should go talk to him. Yeah. Never seen the boss so quiet. Feels like you two have some scores to settle. Oh, yeah, in a big way. Uh, Bode and Vader. Both. What? Talk later, buddy. <laughs> but that Mogu you took out had quite the stench. Ugh, quite. Range with your nose, my mama always said. We once had a feral canopy terrorizing the ranch. Just a menace. Destroyed our barn. Twice. Canopins cover their own tracks, see? Crafty buggers. Practically impossible to find. So how'd you track it? We reversed our vaporators, pumped the air full of moisture. Mm -hmm. When it's humid, smells get a lot, um... Well, more pungent. Mm -hmm. It was long before we caught the scent. Clever. Ain't it? We all got five senses, Cal. I figure we might as well use them. Be seeing you. Did I tell you my latest scheme? Don't think so. With the Empire here, thought I'd have a chance to turn a credit. Try selling useless scrap to a stormtrooper. I mean, how smart can they be? Oh. Turns out very smart. He immediately arrested me, smacked my head with the scrap, and threw me in a watering hole. Still getting into trouble, Turgle? Not exactly. In the watering hole, I found a shiny rock that the stormtrooper is sure to buy. Turgle. Turgle, my dude. I'm really busy, Cal. Maybe later. 
You gotta get out where you're hit, dude. Oh yeah, this is the uh This is just the bathroom. You think we might have been a little hard on our old buddy? Hard? <laughs> Come on. In this galaxy, you're either the act dog or the spanner it's chewing. Huh. I think Cat used to say that. Hey, whatever happened to Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted. Remember? You can hear the explosion from Orton. Oh, I can't interact with her right now. Okay, fine. We'll uh We'll go down here, we'll leave and then we'll we'll come back. There's Grease. Say the word when you want to go after Bode. This isn't over yet. Anything you want to talk about? Later. Now's not the time for words. The Manus will be ready when you are. Poor Grease. Now that's something even I wouldn't try. Cal, what's up with that woman who showed up with you? Aaron, she's a good friend. What about her? Mm, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Are you afraid of Marin? Me? Oh, no, no. No, it's just... Well, I've never seen anyone like her before. Marin's a night sister. A night what? Uh, wait, what is, what is that? <laughs> She's from Dathomir, and she can perform magic. <laughs> now you're just yanking my Walloona ears. I'm not. She can wake the dead. Don't worry. You have nothing to be afraid of. Usually. Cal! Well, all I know is if the dead start walking around here, you're gonna get an earful. Take a look around. You got a good eye. It's a deal. Why don't you come back when you have enough? <clears throat> Can I confide something, Cal? Sure. Now, it ain't easy for me to admit, but... I'm a big fan of Ash's music. Cannot get it out of my head. It's catchy. You've got great taste. Why is that hard for you to admit? Well, I don't know. I got a reputation. For being tough, alert, ready to do what needs to be done. But, wouldn't you know it? Deep down, I was just born to dance, Cal. Found myself humming a tune the other day, and, well, customer thought I was out of my mind. You know what I like about you, Cal? You're not always bugging me to step in and help you solve disputes and whatnot. I like to try to handle my own problems. Guessing that's the same with you. That's right. A while back, this one prospector got into an argument with his protocol droid. Got so worked up, he got violent. So, I stepped in, told the prospector if he laid another hand on his droid, I would ban him from my shop and cut his credit with every vendor in town. Oh. Um, well, that shut him up pretty quick. Since then, well, I've been the closest thing to a mayor this town has. Okay. I wouldn't Makes want to mess sense. with you. Yeah. That's another thing I like about you, Cal. Smart enough to know trouble when you see it. <laughs> another customer for you, pretty boy. What you got, Cage? Word well, is you've got a secret admirer on Jeddah. Big droid called u haul Looking to replace the little guy? Not a chance. I figured. Anyway, u hongs not a touchy-feely type. More of a touchy murdery type. Of course. Oh, yeah. All right, so it's back to the Jetta. Steady, steady. How many safe houses does the path have left? I do not know, but I suspect there are not many. Speed up! Up! Ready 
Ready yourself for combat. <laughs> will want to see Ooh. this all right cool another one down how'd you get involved with sork tormo and the haxian brood uh the usual i claimed the bounty on a brood hitman and sork sent more high guns after me oh of course <laughs> i sent them back hmm. say in a way that Got his full attention. Sork reached out with a job offer not long after. You gotta have a little streak of crazy to stay in this game. Yeah, that checks out. You got the stuff, I got the goods. I should keep this for myself. Really? Okay. I've seen a lot of hunters in my day, and I gotta say, you're showing promise, Cal. How many bounties until I get a hat like yours? Not a chance. I took this off my first target. It has sentimental value. How long you been a bounty hunter? Long enough. And I know a killer in the making when I see one. Now that you've proven yourself a proper hunter, you might as well play the part. Like I said, I'm not looking to start a career in bounty hunting. Uh-huh. Never heard that one before. First tip, expand your arsenal. Modded my blasters myself to boost my close game. Second tip, always arrive equipped in style. Makes people talk. You'll get more jobs that way. I was practically an amateur before I scrawled my jet boots. Then the jobs came pouring in. Thanks, but <laughs> I'm good. Suit yourself. But don't come crying to me when you find yourself outplayed. Tormo's never doubled a bounty before. You've got him twisted right up. He did that to himself. You mentioned before that you used to work with Sork. Yeah, it was a wild time. We made a lot of credits together and even more enemies. Doesn't sound like the kind of relationship that lasts. Things were good until they weren't. That's how it is with Sork. He'll sell you up for a stale turbo dog. Only a matter of time before he made his move. But I'm not an easy mark, Cal. You should know that by now. You seem troubled. I just keep going through it all in my head. I lost some friends. If I'd done something differently, maybe they'd still be alive. No. When my planet was being invaded by the Empire, I led my family to an abandoned bunker. It had shelter, provisions, a great idea, until it wasn't. It was shelled. I lost two brothers. It's awful. But you don't blame yourself for leading them there. Never. That decision was correct at the time. Right. This is how I choose to live. All right, guys, so we blew up some steam today after last episode. I hunted down some bounties. Uh, I got to the point, though, I don't think we can hunt down any more bounties until we progress further in the main story. So next time we'll be continuing the main story. I'm really excited to see uh, what happens next. Um, I really want some answers. Uh, like exactly, uh, you know, Bo's motivation. I know he has his daughter. 
but I want to know his connection to the Empire. Whether he is working for them, whether he was an Inquisitor with them, or he's just some fallen Jedi. Um, because, like, I don't know. Some, something's missing here. Um, and I really hope we get some answers. Hope once we confront him, we get a good explanation as to why. Because you would think, as a survivor himself, he would just want to team up with us. Um, what exactly does he gain by betraying us? I really want to know. Um, and also, I, you know, I want to continue hunting down these bounty hunters as well. I really like the whole bounty hunter aspect of Star Wars. Um, it's one of my favorite parts. We get a lot of, you know, I know we get a lot of Jedi, Jedi stuff throughout, like, you know, all the movies and, and a bunch of other medium, but bounty hunter stuff, the Outer Rim, uh, stuff with like the Hut cartels and the Pike Syndicate and stuff. I really enjoy all those, like the, the different crime families of Star Wars. So uh, I, I really like that kind of stuff. Anyways, I've had a lot of fun today. Hope you guys did too. If you did, please make sure you leave a leave the video a like. Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't yet, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Helps out a whole lot. I greatly appreciate it. Attempted to get 500 subscribers, hopefully eventually a thousand. Thank you guys again for watching. Hope you're all doing fantastic, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.